Hey, what's going on? Tim here at Millennial Investments. I wanted to take some time to review Tesla and what's going on with it. Um, as you may know, we reached 890 at its peak back at the end of January, as you can see here. And now we're currently seeing some strong pullback. We're currently trading at the 742. This is actually weighing down on the entire EV market. So you will see your EV plays correlate with this. Um, I know that BLNK is seeing the effects of this, RMO, um, NEO's down. I uh, haven't looked at Nikola or NKLA, um, but I just wanted to do some trend analysis with you and kind of determine, you know, what to look for moving forward with the stock. Um, as far as key levels to identify, uh, if you currently have a position in it, I know some people may be worried with the current pullback. Um, but starting off, uh, one thing that stands out to me immediately are these levels right here that we previously had uh, issues um uh, with the resistance before it broke out above it and that's the 681 levels i actually thought that tesla was going to go back down to 688 um 668 last week um after seeing it hit the 780 level uh, and bounce off of those levels and find the strong resistance once again at the uh 884 levels and then once i saw the momentum going into the trade coming down i actually bought some puts people think i'm crazy for uh <laughs> You know headed down this direction and made some gains there um and then made some calls on the reversal thinking that we were going to continue to trade in this trend well basically going into last friday we saw the stock consolidate even more going into market close on friday and that brought some concerns to me i actually let some of my colleagues know that i thought we were going to retest the 688 uh somewhere around this area um before you know finding the support to come back above this well today the stock actually broke down even further um, and hit uh, 742 uh, resistance, previous resistance levels, uh, and finding support there. So <clears throat> be careful, though, to identify that support, though, because if you look back on Friday right here, we saw the same trend, almost exactly the same. Um, I expect it to come down a little bit more going into after hours. Hopefully we don't gap down going into the, to tomorrow, but rather gap back up above these 780 levels. Uh, that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for it to do that in order to bring back the EV market in, in totality. If it does not do that, if we find resistance above below the 744, um, then I highly expect that this could potentially, you know, retest the 719s and then potentially the 681s, which are strong previous levels of support that we broke out above. And we expect it to conduct what you call a resistance to support reversal here. So um, it's not a bad thing. I mean, it just allows you to buy, uh, you know, buy the dip better positions in Tesla at a much cheaper price uh, with the expectation that most people think Tesla will be, uh, you know, $1,000 by April or something like that. Uh, I don't really trade Tesla too much. Um, you know, you can you can hack me for it or whatever, but, you know, uh, just too high price options are, are too, too high for my risk value. Uh, just not my trade, you know each his own but uh just wanted to identify some of these key levels we'll pay attention to our top line being an 884 uh, strong resistance level uh intra intra line of resistance i want to point out being the 780 because it was a previous level of support once we hit that level we bounced above it and then found support there and almost retested it here and then found support again so um i always after i saw it breaking down below this I use that as a key metrics to determine the, uh, you know, the final outcome of the direction for the stock. And as you can see, we got down below it. Um, I would like to point out that 744 hopefully becomes our level of support here moving forward and we're able to reverse and potentially we might see some churn between the 744 to the 780 unless it's not able to keep its support above that currently trading almost a dollar and 11 cents below that level of support now if it does not find the support above the 744 then we are potentially it's set to retest either 719 right here or ultimately the 681. 681 being identified based on the times that it was a level of resistance for the stock in the past and finding that support above it. Um, I can bring in some other indicators in here and it kind of show our, um, you know, our, um, let me see, is it not going to show it? I guess my indicators aren't working right now, but I'll, I'll pick them back up. Anyways, yeah, I don't have them on here. But uh, just pay attention to this uh, going forward and, you know, use it as a basis to make a position in the trade, determine the direction of the trade, and with this being a market leader, the direction of the EV market overall. 
Otherwise, thank you for watching. If you found this video information or this information beneficial to you in any way, please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for this channel to show your support and share this with others if you find that they will find it beneficial as well. Other than that, I appreciate you taking the time to watch this and allowing me to give you my outlook on the stock and what to expect moving forward. Otherwise, have a good day, good luck trading, and be smart. Thank you.